Good day everyone! Today we will discuss cell division. Cell division is a process where a parent cell divides, producing two or more new cells. Before cell division, a cell undergoes a cycle. This cycle is called cell cycle. Most eukaryotic cells follow a process of growth and division called the cell cycle. These events include a growth stage, mitosis or nuclear division, and cytokinesis or division of the cytoplasm. Throughout interphase, the cell is engaged in growth and metabolic activities. Interphase can be further broken down into three discrete phases called G1, S, and G2. During the G1, or first growth phase, normal cell functions occur as well as cell growth. In the S phase, DNA replicates, producing two copies of each chromosome. During the G2 phase, the cell continues to prepare for mitosis and cell division. Mitosis, or the M phase, has four stages, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. During prophase, the chromosomes become visible and condense, becoming shorter and thicker. Each identical copy of a single chromosome is called a sister chromatid. The nuclear envelope breaks down and spindle fibers form as microtubules grow out of the centrioles that move to opposite poles of the cell. During metaphase, the double-stranded chromosomes line up along the equator of the cell. The spindle is now fully formed and the microtubules attach to each sister chromatid. Anaphase begins when the sister chromatids of each chromosome begin to separate. The centromere that holds sister chromatids together divides and the chromosomes move away from each other along its spindle fiber. In telophase, the two groups of chromosomes reach the opposite ends of the cell. As a new nuclear envelope starts to form around each group, the chromosomes uncoil and the spindle disappears. The division of the cytoplasm and organelles is called cytokinesis, or the C phase. The result of mitosis and cytokinesis is the formation of two genetically identical cells. To summarize the entire cycle, G1, S and G2 phases occur during interphase while the cell is growing and preparing to divide. Mitosis, or the division of the nucleus, consists of four phases, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase, and in these phases, duplicate copies of the chromosomes are split equally. Finally, the cell cytoplasm divides during cytokinesis and results in the formation of two genetically identical daughter cells. Two types of cell division are mitosis and meiosis. The stages of mitosis is PMAT, P for prophase, M for metaphase, A for anaphase, and T for telophase. Interphase is the event prior to mitosis. During prophase, the chromosomes pair up. During metaphase, chromosomes line up at the equator. During anaphase, sister chromatids pulled apart. And during telophase and cytokinesis, cell pinches in the middle, resulting to two identical daughter cells. Mitosis is a cell division that produces two new genetically identical cells. It divides once. The diploid parent cell produces two diploid 2N daughter cells, which means, in case of humans, a full set of 46 chromosomes are present. Mitosis occurs in body cells or somatic cells. All of the body's non-reproductive cells divide by mitosis, such as skin cells of the hands, muscle cells, and blood cells, except red blood cells, because they do not have nucleus. Mitosis helps organisms grow, heal wounds, and replace countless of cells that are shed every minute. 
Meiosis, the parent cell divides to form four daughter cells, each with half the number of chromosomes called haploid, represented as N. Meiosis involves two parts of cell divisions. The first part is called meiosis 1. It reduces the number of chromosomes from diploid to haploid number, thus called reductional division states. After interphase is prophase 1, where homologous chromosomes pair up and exchange fragments in the process of crossing over. This is followed by metaphase 1, where the homologous chromosomes line up at the equator, then anaphase 1, where the chromosomes pulled apart, and then telophase 1 and cytokinesis, cell pinches in the middle, resulting to two daughter cells, which are haploid. In prophase 2, this is now the start of meiosis 2. So the events that occur in prophase 2, the chromosomes condense and the nuclear envelope breaks down. The centrosomes move apart, the spindle forms between them, and the spindle microtubules begin to capture chromosomes. In metaphase 2, the chromosomes line up at the equator. In anaphase 2, the sister chromatids pulled apart. In telophase 2 and cytokinesis, the cell pinches in the middle resulting to four granddaughter cells, which are haploid, represented as N. So in meiosis II, the two parent cells, which are haploid, give rise to four daughter cells, which are also haploid. Hence, it is called equational division. Meiosis is used by multicellular organisms in the formation of reproductive cells or gametes. This process is called gametogenesis. Are you excited to find out how egg cell and sperm cells are produced? Oogenesis is the development of egg cells in the ovary. Let's take a look at the diagram. Oogonium having a diploid chromosome grows into a primary oocyte, and there are around 400,000 of them in the ovary at birth. They remain dormant until just prior to ovulation. The primary oocyte undergoes meiosis 1. The nucleus splits so that half of its chromosomes go to the first polar body and the other half goes to the secondary oocyte. The first polar body and the secondary oocyte proceeds to meiosis 2, giving rise to three second polar bodies with haploid chromosomes and one mature ovum with haploid chromosomes. The three polar bodies disintegrate leaving only the mature ovum. Spermatogenesis is the formation of sperm cells in the testes. Let's take a look at this diagram. The diploid spermatogonium in the seminiferous tubules of the testes grows into a primary spermatocyte. Prior to meiosis one, the chromosomes replicate mitotically in interphase to create 46 pairs of sister chromatids. In this, the chromatids allow the exchange of genetic information through the synapsis process. During meiosis I, the primary spermatocyte gives rise to two secondary spermatocytes, each with a haploid chromosome represented as N. The secondary spermatocytes proceed to meiosis II, giving rise to four spermatids with haploid chromosomes. The spermatids mature and develop into four sperm cells or spermatozoa. Meiosis is important in sexual reproduction. If ovum with a haploid chromosome is fertilized by a sperm cell with haploid chromosome, it results to zygote, which is diploid. So meiosis is important because it ensures that all organisms produced by a sexual reproduction contain the correct number of chromosomes. It is also important in the production of genetic variation by way of the process of recombination. Answer now the let's try part of your module. Number one, it is a type of cell division wherein the cell divides into two exact copies of two daughter cells, A cell cycle, B meiosis, C mitosis, D. Reproduction. Number two, what happens to the chromosome during metaphase in mitosis? A. The chromosomes move in opposite poles of the spindle. 
B, the chromosomes did not separate towards the opposite poles. C, the chromosomes become thickened with the sister chromatids. D, the chromosomes are aligned at the center of the metaphase plate. Number three, when can we determine that the cell cycle is now ready to undergo mitotic cell division? A, from the GAP1 phase, synthesis phase, and GAP2 phase. B, from the mitotic cell division, GAP1 phase, synthesis phase, and GAP2 phase. C, from synthesis phase, GAP1 phase, and GAP2 phase. D, from interphase and GAP2 phase, ready to mitosis. Number four, which stage of meiosis two does the nuclear membrane disintegrate? A, anaphase two, B, metaphase two, C, prophase two, D, telophase two. What separates during anaphase two? A, the cytoplasm, B, sister chromatids, C, homologous chromosomes, D, the spindle fiber. For the let's create part of your module, you have to draw and label the different stages of mitosis and meiosis in a short bond paper. Scoring keys content 10 points, correct sequence of stages 10 points, visual appeal 10 points, total of 30 points. Answer now your module 1. You may answer in any sheet of thin paper or notebook and submit a screenshot of it to your teacher. Happy answering! Thank you for watching. Don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe.